Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories, let's start with the story. AITA for accepting a flower from a homeless man that led to my boyfriend shattering my phone. A few days ago, it was my birthday, and I'm still reeling from what happened with my boyfriend. We were walking home together when we passed by a group of homeless people. One of them gave me a dead flower and said, Here you go miss since you're the first woman who walked by. It was about 10 p.m., and my birthday was right at midnight, so it felt kind of special to me I thanked him and kept walking. My boyfriend didn't say anything, so I figured everything was fine. Later, I pulled out my phone to record a quick video of the flower and share it with a friend, but my boyfriend suddenly tried to snatch my phone away. I laughed and asked what he was doing, but he didn't answer and just kept walking. He seemed a bit annoyed, but I wanted to get the video, so I tried again. This time, he hit my hand hard, causing my phone to fall and shatter on the concrete. The screen protector was completely ruined, and I was devastated. I yelled, why did you do that? And he threw the flower onto the road, saying it was my fault for embarrassing him. I was in tears because. 1. He broke my phone. 2. He threw away the flower, and 3. I didn't understand what I did wrong. He made me delete the video of the flower right in front of him, and we walked home in silence. When we got back I lost it, crying and screaming, asking him why he did that, especially an hour before my birthday. He said, how would you feel if a girl gave me a flower in front of you, I replied, if it were the same homeless woman we see all the time, I wouldn't mind, we've passed by this guy a lot, he called me a liar and said I was being manipulative and disrespectful in front of other men. I don't get how it was disrespectful. It was just a dead flower and I wasn't even planning to keep it. I thought it was a cool, unexpected gesture, especially right before my birthday. He called me an attention seeker, and made me feel awful. We went to bed without talking, and the next morning, he was gone. I went to brunch with friends to distract myself, but I still felt terrible. I'm not sure if I was completely in the wrong here. Maybe I shouldn't have accepted the flower, but it felt innocent to me. He still hasn't spoken to me, even though his siblings wished me a happy birthday. I'm at a loss and don't want to lose my boyfriend over what happened. Update. Hello everyone, thank you so much for all the help. I broke up with him. To be honest, I still love him, and I'm trying to cut all communication because I know that if he contacts me again, I'll most likely go back. I literally made a list of all the reasons why he sucks, and try to read it every time I want to text him lol. Here's the update, he surprised me with my favorite flowers and a letter. He wished me happy birthday and apologized for his reaction. He said he was being immature, and that it wouldn't happen again. He said we should work on communicating each other's boundaries better. He also apologized for ghosting me for a few days. He said he just needed some time to cool down. Not going to lie, I just wanted my boyfriend back, so I accepted the apology under the condition that he will never do anything like that again. He swore on his life that he'd never make me cry ever again. I genuinely saw a shift in his personality. He was even better than when I first fell for him. Like one time, we were cuddling and talking about our relationship, and he literally started crying while professing his love to me. He said that he knows sometimes he gets frustrated over little things, but it's because he loves me so much, and he's terrified of losing me. He shared so many things about his past, he had never opened up to me before, so it really felt like the relationship grew stronger. We went to the beach as a little birthday celebration with his friends. We were six in total and I was the only girl. Two other girls were supposed to come too, but they had work. I didn't know that until I asked one of the guys, and he told me. Long story short, he got mad at me for wearing a bikini. He was like, WTF do I look like having my girl walk around half naked like a hoe in front of everyone. I reminded him that we're at the beach and a lot of people wear bikinis at the beach. He said that it's different because I'm the only girl here with five guys and it makes me look bad. I said I didn't care and went back to everyone. After a little while, he pulled me to the side again. He called me names, said that one of his friends obviously wants to fuck me, but I'm too fucking dumb to see it. He said he overheard him, I don't think this is true, but Ike. He was very angry, but also, he had been drinking, so that could explain his irrationality. I started crying and then went home, because I didn't want people to see me like that. He was being so weird, I don't know why he was being aggressive all of a sudden. Like before the flower incident, he had never used that kind of language with me, especially in public. He came over that night to talk about what happened. I was so hurt, I honestly thought we had grown closer. We both explained our sides of the situation. I told him I wasn't trying to get anyone's attention by wearing a bikini and I can kind of understand his point of view because I was a little uncomfortable too being the only girl there. He said I could have put my clothes back on, but I had to stay in a bikini. He said I looked like a hoe waiting to get fucked when I was lying on my stomach tanning. I can't really remember what he said after that, I was just so hurt. We were going in circles so we decided to just go to bed. He then tried to initiate sex, which just pissed me off. I said no every time. I heard him say something about me being an annoying ass bitch under his breath, and that was the last straw. I kicked him out and broke up with him. It wasn't easy, he was crying and screaming the whole time. He even punched a wall in my room. I was terrified, I never thought he could do that, we had never fought like that before. 
he finally left when I dialed 911 and threatened to call. I don't know why I still love him so much, I understand his reactions, knowing his past and what he's been through, and it's a lot, trust me. I know it's not an excuse, but it's still an explanation, right? Anyway, it's over now. Half of my stuff is still at his house, but I don't even want to think about it right now. He's blocked, and I am really trying to villainize him in my mind so I can move on, but it's hard when all I can think of is the amazing moments we shared. Like the time he was crying in my arms, telling me he loved me more than life itself, or the day he asked me to be his girlfriend, or when he gave me a promise ring. Maybe I did go wrong somewhere. It's just so crazy to think that all of this could have been avoided if I hadn't accepted the flower. I know I'm dumb for thinking he could change so quickly. I just wanted my boyfriend back. Thank you again, everyone, for the advice. Final update. Hey everyone I think this is the final update on the situation. I'm ashamed to admit it, but I went back one more time. I know it was a stupid choice. It's hard to explain, it's like he has a hold on me. At first, it was just about the sex, nothing more. We didn't want to completely cut each other off, but I didn't want to officially get back together or start meeting new people, so we agreed this would be the best option. And for a while, it actually worked. After the fifth or sixth time, we decided to try getting back together, but to do it right this time. I laid out my boundaries, no yelling, no cursing at me, no hitting, no going through my stuff, and being respectful. I made it clear that if he crossed any of these lines I would leave him. I told him I wasn't his emotional punching bag, and just because he's been through a lot doesn't mean he can take it out on me, especially since I've never treated him that way. He agreed to everything and shared his own boundaries with me, no yelling, being respectful, modesty, and not going through his stuff. I also read some comments about how punching a wall can be the first step to punching someone, so I told him that could never happen again. He agreed, and even booked a therapy appointment. He's really committed to self-improvement, anger and impulsiveness are his only real issues. We both wanted this to work. Our anniversary is coming up, and I didn't want to break up right before it. Things were going fine, until he sent me a TikTok of my post and accused me of exaggerating everything, basically calling me a liar. I'm attaching some screenshots because to this day, I still don't understand why he was saying all that. I got mad and called him, and we ended up screaming at each other on the phone. I felt like he was making everything about himself again, and dismissing my feelings because he was embarrassed. He came over with my stuff and broke up with me, insulting me the whole time. I didn't want things to end like that, so I asked him to stay and talk. Long story short, we ended up screaming at each other again, and he broke my MacBook. I'm so done. Luckily, I'm not going to school this semester so I won't really need it, but he still broke it. Like, what the heck? I'm reading the book that was recommended to me, and it's hard to accept that my boyfriend is one of those people. I'm glad he broke up with me, I know he's not good for me. He hates me now, and it's for the best. I know he won't bother me again, and I have no reason to talk to him now that I have my stuff back. I'm still learning a lot, like what love bombing is, I didn't even know that's what he was doing. I know I'm naive, and that's why I want to stay single for a while. I don't want to end up in this situation again. Thank you to everyone, especially all the women for sharing your stories and helping me when I needed it. Thank you for listening to the whole story. Wishing you a wonderful day.